subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. When working with Python projects, creating isolated environments is essential to manage dependencies and ensure project reproducibility. Two commonly used tools for this purpose are Venv and Virtualenv. In this tutorial, we'll explore the differences between them and provide code examples to illustrate their usage. Venv is a built-in module in Python 3 for creating lightweight, self-contained virtual environments. It's used to create isolated Python environments within a project directory. To create a virtual environment using Venv, follow these steps. Replace my underscore venv with your preferred environment name. After creating the virtual environment, you need to activate it. Once activated, install Python packages as usual using pip. To deactivate the virtual environment, simply type. Virtualenv is a third-party package that provides similar functionality to venv. It's compatible with both Python 2 and Python 3. If you don't have virtualenv installed, you can install it via pip. To create a virtual environment using virtualenv, follow these steps. Replace my underscore virtualenv with your preferred environment name. Activation for virtualenv is similar to venv. Once activated, install Python packages using pip. To deactivate the virtual environment. Both Venv and Virtualenv serve the purpose of creating isolated Python environments, but Venv comes built in with Python 3 while Virtualenv is a separate package compatible with older Python versions. Choose the one that best suits your project requirements. Using these tools, you can maintain clean, isolated environments for different projects, managing dependencies without conflicts. Experiment with both to understand their nuances and decide which fits your workflow better. ChatGPT